Hey guys, SH here, and welcome to my new series Battlefield 4 Science. This is a series where I try to go over some of the major mechanics in Battlefield 4, try to be as technical as possible, and give you some of the tips on how to use it in its full potential. Today's episode, I want to talk about the recoil mechanics in Battlefield 4. Well, a lot of people really seem to estimate that this is underestimated features in Battlefield 4, and today I'm here to tell that it is false. There's a lot of technical stuff that you need to remember in order to control the recoil, control your fire, control the verse. So without further ado, let's get started. But before talking about that, I first want to do a quick myth busting here, especially for the Call of Duty players that just came down to Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3. So this one myth that a lot of people are really really making a lot of mistakes, this myth is that the bullets go to the place where you exactly aim down sights. Like, especially if you ever play Call of Duty, this is a uh, one of the very um, good example. In fact, I'm going to show you an example right now, and as you guys can see I'm using the LSL with the freaking target finder and then the rapid fire attachment and I'm gonna do some of the wall tests here and as you can see the bullet goes exactly uh, where you're aiming at. Now let's move on to Battlefield 4 and now I'm using the M240B uh, which is one of the um, very high damage light machine gun in the game uh, which means that it also has a very high spread increase per shot so let me fire a couple rounds and as you guys can see the bullet really doesn't exactly go where it's supposed to be or if you guys cannot see close enough I'm gonna zoom in here right now and as you guys can see, yes, the bullets do not go where exactly it's supposed to be it's like Call of Duty. And it is because the Call of Duty and the Battlefield 4 has a different recoil mechanics. Call of Duty 4 is based on the hit scan where it aims at people and if you fire the weapon it does not have like a bullet velocity or something like that. It just registers a shot and you're pretty much dead. But in Battlefield 4 they have a really really complicated stuff such as the bullet velocity, projectile, the bullet drop, they have a lot of stuff that you need to compensate in order to use the weapon in its full potential. Well, I'm not here to talk about that kind of stuff today. I want to get more focused on the recoil. So without further ado, let's get started. There are two types of recoil in Battlefield 4 and the first one is called the visual recoil. And I know a lot of guys really never heard about this before, but you probably felt it, especially if you are using a light machine gun. The light machine gun tends to have a very, very huge visual recoil. A very good example would be um, QBB with 95 or any QB series actually. In fact, it is very hard to explain how this thing works, so let's just move on to the live commentary right now. Alright, I'm at a test range now and I'm currently using the Type 88 line machine gun, which is known to have a very high visual recoil. And to represent this, I'm gonna aim down sight, or before doing that, I'm just gonna um, use my editing skill and I'm gonna try to put a kind of a center dot right now. And as you guys can see, that's a green dot, or I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna be a green dot or not. But anyway, I'm gonna aim down sight, and as you guys can see, the green dot is like exactly centered on the red dot. And I'm gonna fire a couple rounds, and as you guys can see, something kind of feels funky. Like, if you guys look at it carefully, um, if you guys look at the red dot side and then the placement of the green side or green dot side or any side that I put it on as an example in the video editing. As you guys can see, the bullet doesn't exactly go where it's supposed to go and that is called a visual recoil. And a lot of people really doesn't seem to understand it and it re really is pretty difficult to understand it once you first start using it. So yeah, so that's the visual recoil, and now let's go back to the commentary right now. So like I explained in the live commentary, the QBB series, or pretty much all the light machine guns in general, have a very, very huge visual recoil. And I know that time I used the program to represent how this visual recoil works, but um, there is actually a legal way, I mean quote-unquote legal way, to completely ignore the visual recoil, and it is to use the laser sight. If you actually tried using a laser sight before, and if you actually see some of the um, pointy dots when you aim down sights, that is going to be a place where the bullet is going to register. One of the good examples with this clip that I'm showing right here, as you guys can see, the bullets don't exactly go where it's supposed to be, and maybe that's one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of people running around with QBB95 or the Time 88 because it has such a high visual recoil. And if you actually look at some of these stats from Synthic.com, the QBB95 really does not have a high recoil at all. It has a very controllable recoil. It just, it just has a huge visual recoil and that's why you do not see a lot of people running around with that gun in Type 88. So what I recommend you is to always use a laser sight if you have a weapon that has a very high visual recoil and don't ever trust the red dot sight in the center. Always trust the laser sight because that's going to be a center of your weapon. 
And the next type of recoil is called a gun kick and a lot of you guys probably seen this before because this is one of the most commonly used stats in the game especially if you go to a website such as simpic.com it shows you about some of the visual recoil information some of the recoil hitfire spread and there's the huge um, arrow going on from left to right and upward and that is called a gun kick that's how actually the gun really kicks the um, physical trait of the weapon it also ranges from 0.1 to 0.5 or higher and how this works is whenever you you fire a weapon there's a probability of a chance of range from 0.1 to 0.5 that your gun is gonna move so it pretty much shakes your screen to the point where it makes it look like the gun is actually kicking and that's one of the reason why you see a lot of people running around with SAR-21 because the SAR-21 has one of the lowest recoil in class and to compensate that recoil is actually very simple what you need to do go to any server or find a really flat wall and shoot a couple times with your weapon just shooting fully automatic don't worry about burst fire your weapon shoot it a couple times and identify the direction where it's kicking and pull your mouse down and dump it down on the opposite direction of the general direction that it's kicking and you should be able to compensate that recoil very easily and that is going to help you first and second times so where you're going to have to get used to it and that's why you need to play around with one type of weapon for quite a long time in order to master it but once you start mastering it there shouldn't be any problem at all while managing your recoil now there's another factor of the recoil and it's called the first shot multiplier if you ever went to simplic.com you probably know about this already uh, so all the guns and pretty much all the good weapons in the battlefield 4 has a first shot multiplier so what that does whenever you first trigger a weapon it actually makes the weapon look like it has a high recoil for example if the gun has a 1.6 times multiplier you have to multiply that by your actual recoil in your gun and that increases the chance to kick a lot higher than the following shots and that's what exactly the first multiplier does but there's also an exception to it and it's called the burst fire mode if you use the burst fire mode in battlefield 4 you don't actually get a first shot multiplier instead there's a third shot multiplier a great example would be the m16 84 or m4 a1 once you start using that weapon you are not gonna notice any first shot recoil at all in fact i'm gonna show you a clip right now and as you guys can see you don't have any first shot multiplier at all but the last clip or in fact i'm gonna slow it down right now as you guys can see there's only a third shot multiplier instead of first shot multiplier and i think that's a really really good step from dice considering for the fact that purpose of using a burst fire weapon is to be accurate and since they eliminated the first shot recoil and just put it back to third shot recoil that is going to make your gun a lot more accurate than your typical assault rifle so i think that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do like favorite subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later peace